Well, hello, 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 your favorite YouTuber here. This is a little different video. So I want to listen to a video and I want to react to it because I think it will help you understand my thought process and maybe help you reach financial independence yourself in the future. So we're going to listen to this video. by Alexander Nava. So this guy is a editor, video editor for Stefan Graham, like the right, the big finance YouTuber. And the title of this video is I'm unemployed. Let's just listen to it. Let's just listen to it. And I'm going to give you my thoughts of because it, it just really baffles me how small-minded people are and how they don't understand business. They're not entrepreneurs. They just glorified employees just working for themselves. Well, guys, this is a tough video to make, but I'm unemployed. Now, for those of you that are new here, about three years ago, I was living in Milwaukee, Wisconsin with my now wife, Kelsey, and I was working from home at a bank. In my free time, I decided to start making content about photography and videography on TikTok and on YouTube. And that's when I stumbled upon a video by Graham Stephan, who's one of the largest finance creators here on YouTube. He said he was looking for an assistant just to do a couple miscellaneous tasks here and there. Uh, and if you wanted to apply, you had to make a video. So I quickly got to work making a video and the next day Graham reached out and said he wanted to meet me here in Vegas. After calling in sick to work, I flew out here and spent two days working with Graham to see how we meshed. We immediately became really good friends and he offered me the job. So I asked my wife if she wanted to move to Vegas and without hesitation, she said yes. So we took everything that we owned, put it into a truck, hauled our car behind it and moved across the country so that I could pursue my dream career, which is working in YouTube. I was one of those people who was obsessed with YouTube as a kid. And the fact that I got the opportunity to be able to pursue it with a large creator was amazing. In my three years with Graham, I went from an assistant to filming to editing, to producing, to doing title and thumbnail strategy, basically everything that you can think of, I helped with. I got to film with some creators I've always wanted to work with, film with some celebrities I've always looked up to, and even in places that I had never dreamed of, like the tallest and most expensive listing in the world. And time and time again, I use these opportunities to be able to prove myself and my skills and gain more experience. There's definitely a lot to running a YouTube channel that I think we as the audience don't think about, and it's time consuming and really hard work. But truth be told, it is one of my passions. I absolutely love it. And I would love to continue working in the space. Graham and I became really good friends and I learned so much from him and we still are good friends. I don't want you guys to think that there's any bad blood or anything. You may be asking yourself, well, Alex, if your job was so great, like what happened? Well, when I initially joined Graham, we were posting so much. We were posting three videos on the main channel, three videos on the second channel, one podcast, and I was running the entire vlog channel by myself as well. That's over one video a day, and if you count the clips, I mean, it was even more. We were so busy, and there was only three of us. But the space on YouTube has changed, and so has the trajectory of Graham's life and channel. I'm not here to talk about Graham or to speak for him, but what I can say is that he's definitely been traveling a lot more with his fiance, Macy, and the amount of videos that we've been posting on the main channel have definitely gone down. So the whole channel was run by just Graham and I, and we were we're posting three finance videos a week for your entertainment. And uh, between two people, that's a lot of finance videos to make. There were definitely late nights where I had to push because I got the video at 9 p.m. and we gotta get it out by like noon. And uh, those were definitely some, some hard times, but I've learned so much through that. But as time progressed, we went down and down in the amount of videos that we were making. We quickly went from three videos a week to two videos a week to one video a week. The majority of my time on a weekly basis was spent editing and producing and also doing title and thumbnail strategy with Grant. And since we basically got down to zero to one videos a week, there was not as much work. So because of that, I'm no longer gonna be working full time with Graham, but if he needs some help on the weekends to shoot something or he wants to just hang out, definitely we're still gonna be doing that and we're still really good friends. 
That being said though, I am open to new opportunities and I would love to join a team or work closely with a creator to really grow a channel out just like I did with Graham. If you want to see some of my favorite work that I did while working with Graham, I'll link it down below. I would love to find something that's super fulfilling to me and be able to take these skills that I've built over the last three years and put them to good use and build up even more. I have experience from shooting and editing to title and thumbnail strategy and organizing the back end of a YouTube business. I'm also the tech guy, so I ran our servers to be able to store and send files between Graham and the team. And I've also designed many creator and podcast studios like the Iced Coffee Hour. I also did one for Spencer Cornelia and a bunch of others. So I love design and I love tech. Like I said, so if you're a creator or you know somebody who could really use my help, let me know. I definitely want to do something that I'm passionate about. And yeah, you probably... Okay. So think about this for a second. This dude was the main editor for Graham, for Graham Stefan. And this video that you just saw got almost 250,000 views. And in another video, he said that he got about 1,000, 1,000 emails with, with different job opportunities after making this video. And when I listened to this, I was just shaking my head because I'm like, why do people do this to themselves? Think about this. He became a celebrity video editor. And what does he want to do? He wants to become an editor for another creator. He wants to join a team and do exactly what he did for Graham. That is such a waste of talent, okay? Like if you open up your mind a little bit and you think about what you can do, think about what Warren Buffett said about modes. You can have a moat from a brand, switching costs, uh, cost advantages, intangibles, all kinds of moats that make you special. Now, this guy is now a celebrity video editor because he worked with Graham Stefan and that work exposed him and gives him a moat. Now he has a moat and what does he want to do? He wants to do more time-consuming work. Does, does this sound like a path towards great financial independence? Here's what I would do. Here's what I would do if I were to put my entrepreneur hat on. And here's how I would use what he just, the mode that he just created. I would make videos on a YouTube channel, and I would make videos on how to edit videos, okay? And I would create a massive video editing company where I would be, all I would do is make videos on how to, on how to edit videos. What they would do is people that would watch these videos they, in other words, teach somebody how to do something and they will hire you to do it for them because video editing is very time consuming. And now, so by making videos on how to make uh, videos on a YouTube channel, he would get tremendous amount of clients because who wouldn't want to work with an editor that edited videos for a YouTube creator that has almost 5 million subscribers. So he would get so much business from this, right? And now, would he have to edit those videos himself? Or if he wants to be a slave to a job and everybody seems to be willing to sell their time, time is such a precious commodity and everybody loves to just sell their time. Open up your mind. Instead of you editing, uh, hire a bunch of people that, uh, that want to edit, that w love to sell their time for money, right? And, and have, train them, have them do all the video editing, and you're just the head of the company. So all you do is make videos on how to 
uh, make YouTube videos, this will drive business to your new company. And also this will drive people that are interested in working for you and editing because everybody else always keeps looking for business. And by watching your videos, they would connect to you and they, they would send you emails saying, hey, can I work for you for, for, for editing videos? I get those emails all the time that people want to edit videos for me. So it's just amazing to me that somebody like him who has this moat is thinking about editing videos himself and wasting his time with another creator where he himself, he just opens up his mind, puts up an entrepreneurial head, can create a multi-million dollar video editing company. That's what I would do if I was him. And what makes it mind-boggling mind to me is that Graham and Jack and him, they had all sorts of people on the, the iced coffee hour talking about you know, financial independence, how to get rich. And I'm like, didn't you guys learn anything from these interviews? Like how to be financially independent? Like editing videos and selling your time because you can do it, that's not financial independence. That's financial slavery because you have to constantly, uh, uh, you know, work, work for money. But to lever up your business, you can lever up other, other people's time. Other people are willing to sell their time because they have nothing else. They, they have nothing else to sell. They're, they're more than happy to give their life away, to sell their time. Use that. If they want to sell their time, use their time. Use their life. That's the leverage. You should just be the head, the head of the company. Create a video editing company, multi-million dollar video editing company where you're the head of it. All you need to do is put up content on YouTube on how to make, how to edit YouTube videos. This will drive tremendous amount of business to you because you're good, because you worked with uh, Graham Stefan. And also it will give you all these employees that will work from home and sell their time to edit these videos. And if they're not good enough, you can train them. But that's how I would approach the situation instead of trying to ask people for a job so that you can sell your time and do the same thing that you've done for Graham Stefan. Use this opportunity that you that you you have by working for Graham Stefan, you became the celebrity video editor. You received a moat. Use that moat and become financially independent by creating a multi-million dollar video editing company. And then maybe then you can go on, um, you know, ice coffee hour and tell others how they can become financially independent and how they can build multi-million dollar businesses.